All right, well, I'm not sure if this Socialist Party account is a troll or not. I'm still deciding I don't know because they posted this nice little picture that shows people waiting in line at a hospital, and underneath it it says capitalism, where you wait for health care. And then it shows a futuristic-looking surgeon's table, and it says socialism, where health care waits for you. It's somewhat clever, except unfortunately for them, it's very easy to look up where these pictures are from. The picture on the left is from the UK with a government-run healthcare industry and a government-managed facility, antithetical to capitalism, by the way. The picture on the right is from St. Luke's Hospital in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. And I've actually been to that hospital before, by the way, and Bethlehem is an awesome town but I digress. So the standard line, of course, is to say that, well, the picture on the left is socialism and the picture on the right is capitalism. I get why people say that, but it would be helpful for us to be a little bit more nuanced than that. I would put it like this. The picture on the left is socialistic in that it is public as opposed to private and more communal via taxation, and the picture on the right is of amazing technology from an industry in the U.S., that is slowly being degraded and destroyed by government rules, government-granted monopolies, government regulations, and government industry-based taxation. It's a mouthful, but I try and be as clear as I can be. The fact is, though, that as screwed up as the U.S. healthcare industry is from the mountain of government weight on top of it, which is, by the way, extremely beneficial for those insurance company executives. I mean, anything like a government-granted monopoly or a certificate of need that disallows others to enter the market and therefore stifles competition is a gift of gold to those CEOs. But as screwed up as the system is in the U.S., the technology and medicines we develop and the portable surgical tables that these socialists are putting in their memes to criticize capitalism mainly are a result of seeking profit, which is why, and I'm not just trying to be insulting here, but it's why there has to be something honestly seriously wrong in the brain of whoever is behind this Socialist Party Twitter account. Either that or they're extremely lazy and they don't want to sit for a moment and think through the implications of what they're posting. Again, I'm not trying to be insulting, but the picture they chose to illustrate how amazing the socialist utopia will be came from what they might consider to be exploitative means. That surgical table probably came about because of the extraction of surplus value from laborers. So it's all very strange to me that they would be not so subtly praising something that came from quasi-private institutions in the U.S. And by the way, they're becoming less and less private and more and more public as time goes on, so we can probably kiss this innovation goodbye pretty soon here, especially if people like whoever's behind this Socialist Party Twitter account ever got the reins of power. But the other thing I want to point out is that we need to not give these socialists any ammunition. And what do I mean by that? I mean that they're technically correct here in their response to a lot of the responses that they got over that picture. Textbook socialism is not that the government runs everything. Karl Marx was clear that it's all about looking forward to the withering away of the state. So when we say the UK is socialist, period, we give real socialists too much room in their incoherent views to justify to themselves that no one else knows what they're talking about and they just don't get them. They get to relieve themselves of all ties to the failures of government when those failures are rightly pointed out. However, the thing that these socialists need to realize is that, despite their utopian dreams, it will always end up just like Venezuela, the Soviet Union, Cuba, Afghanistan, Ukraine, Nicaragua, etc., etc. And there is a reason for this. In order to rid ourselves of private property, private businesses, and private profit, then fundamental aspects of human nature that huge swaths of humans don't take issue with will need to be purged by fire. Even your typical liberal democrat likely wouldn't feel good about seeing an ethical, medium-sized business be destroyed simply because some socialists said that they were exploiting workers by extracting surplus value aka the employer and employee came to a mutual agreement on wages. Even your typical liberal democrat probably wouldn't feel good about that. So socialists would have to declare them in as, as an enemy as well. Um, so socialists would need to become violent, and many of them outright already admit this. Marxist factions within Antifa gleefully partake in and advocate for violence. Now what type of person does a violent revolution tend to filter to the top of the food chain? Generally, the violent, sadistic ones, the ones that can whip people up into a frenzy and motivate them to become a feared, treacherous unit. This is what you see every time these ideas are tried. It's like clockwork. It starts as a labor movement to move, the, move past the state, move past profit, and move towards societal reform, and then it becomes a degraded orgy of violence. 
violence. So on one hand, these socialists are right. Socialism in its pure textbook form has never existed. However, the initiation of the socialistic revolution has certainly occurred many times in many places over the past 120 years, and every time it ends the same, in chaos, disorder, and destitution. So is the UK socialist? Period? No, it's not. But do they have significantly strong socialistic tendencies in their healthcare industry? Without a doubt. It's largely antithetical to private ownership and free and open competition, which is the same direction the U.S. has been going in with our healthcare industry, too, for quite some time. And when this happens, the best thing that can come out of it is the nostalgia from how it used to be when things were cheaper and innovation was this sci-fi level, never-ending miracle. But that is it for now. Please like, sub, share, and take it easy.